Hey guys, it's Jen from My Create Crafts. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make candles using this kit box from the Purple Ladybug. It has everything in here that you're going to need. I have some of this stuff laid out. I actually did try one already just to kind of see how it goes before I go ahead and show you how to do it. And I will tell you, it is the simplest thing to do and they give you everything for it. So let's get started. Okay, like I said, this is the easiest thing to do. I already created one here just to kind of see how it would go, and I love this, how this turned out. Never made candles before, but it comes with everything you need. So for starters, they have these beautiful little candle holders, just like this. They're really tiny, very cute. And what you wanna do is set them up, and I'm gonna show you how to do that, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like each way. So, like I said, little beautiful little candy jar, or little candle jars, you can use them over and over once they're done and it comes with soy wax. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take your wick, which again, they give you everything you need, and then these little tiny dots, which are sticky on both sides. You just gotta peel the back. So it's sticky on both sides. Then you're gonna wanna take it and put it directly in the center there. Try to get it as good as the center as you can. Then you take your wick and you stick that in there too. And then I just take my finger and make sure you push it on really well. Then they give you these little popsicle sticks that has holes in it. You're gonna take it and put it right over the top. This will ensure that when you put your wax in that your candle is going to stay nice and straight. I'll show you some other things they give you. They set everything up for you. So they have cups that you can throw away after you're done with them. They have other popsicle sticks that you can stir with. It also comes with the measuring cup which comes in really, really handy. And then they have these really beautiful colors. So here are the colors, it has like purple, green, orange, yellow. They're really, really pretty. And then on the bottom of your box, it will tell you different colors and how to make them, like blush pink, light purple, teal, hot pink, peach, and ivory. So it's kind of fun that it teaches you how to do it if you want to do it. Otherwise, you can do your own colors however you want. So I'm gonna just try to push this one aside for a second. You wanna start somewhere where you're not gonna to have to move it. You want it to set overnight for at least 24 hours. So what you're gonna do is take your soy wax, which I love, I love soy wax, and then open it up and then put it into your measuring cup. And it fits perfectly in here. So one soy mix here is one candle. So you're gonna to wanna to stick it in there and then comes the fun part. Then you can pick out which colors you wanna put in here. So this first one, I did a red color. So they, I forgot to mention, they also have essential oils with this. So they have rosemary, eucalyptus, and then mint. I forgot to add that as well. They actually have those in there too. So they thought of everything with this kit. So the next part you're gonna to wanna to do is figure out what colors you wanna use. And to do that, to figure out which colors they are, cause they kinda of look the same, is you can use them as like crayons. You can just kinda of draw like this and you can see what colors they are. So there's a purple in here, there's the purple, and then they got a blue and then a yellow. So you gotta figure out which one you're gonna wanna use. If you wanna use these color ones, you just gotta go off of this. So I kinda wanna do this light purple one here. So it's telling me four and four make light purple. So I'm just gonna take a knife and cut off a little bit of the purple one. And then I'm also going to cut off the red one. All right, here's the red. So I already used it. So I'm gonna take a chunk of that off. So now I have the purple and the red. I'm gonna throw that in there. And then you're gonna to wanna to put this in the microwave. This is a microwave safe container. Throw it in the microwave. You wanna do it for 60 seconds. Stir it, do another 60 seconds, stir it again. You kinda of get the point. So here's what it looks like. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's all finished. All right, so that's done. I have my stir that it comes with and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So it's gonna be not completely melted right away. So what you're gonna do is just stir it around. You're gonna have to do this a couple of times until it gets fully liquid, but you wanna stir everything in here, including the color that you have in there. So it's gonna take a couple of times, so be patient, but I promise it's going to be worth it in the end. So I'm gonna put it in for another 60 seconds and then we'll see what it looks like. All right, so now it is done in the microwave. You can see it's a beautiful color. It's nice and liquidy. So you're gonna wanna take it out of this container and put it into the cup that they give you. 
And the reason you want to do that is because you want to put the smell in here, the sense of it in here, and not in your cup because then you're going to get multiple smells out of there and you might not like that. So they come with these scents, the rosemary, they have mint, and they have eucalyptus. So because I already used uh, the mint before, I'm going to use rosemary. And it depends on how much scent you want in here, so you're just going to want to take it and dump some in here. And then you can smell it. Oh my gosh, that smells amazing. You can smell it when you dump it in here. So it all depends on how much you want. It recommends about half um, a bottle per candle. So it kind of depends if you want to mix and match different couple, different colors in here or different scents in here, you can do that. So you just want to take your stir and stir it really well. And then just grab your candle that you already have prepared. It's already got the candle part in there. Whoops, and I forgot. You want to add this piece on it so it holds it up straight. Then you just want to carefully pour your candle mix in. And they do a really good job at actually measuring this whole thing. This whole bit is going to fit perfectly in this candle container. Look at that. Perfectly. So I have another one that's already drying. You can see what it looks like here. It's just a little bit warm, but you want to make sure that you're not going to handle this for a little while. But this is what it's going to look like. And then when it's done, you can cut the wick off at the top and take it off. Um, but wow, it smells beautiful already. So they're going to look beautiful. So there's one. And then I did this other one as well. Um, so you can choose what colors you want to put in there. So this is a nice pink color. This looks like a purple color. So it has the the scents in it and then also the coloring in it and then just the last thing you're going to want to do is when it dries you want to take this off it just tells you who it's from and you're going to want to put it on the bottom of your uh, candle and then also they have these warning labels which is also really nice just common sense stuff but you want to put it onto the cover of your um top here so that's it so this kit was absolutely amazing it comes with everything you could possibly need it comes with extras too so once your candles are all done you can make some more you just need to buy some more soy wax you're still going to have some scents left you're still going to have you know the coloring left and then obviously you can reuse this so you just got to buy some more soy for it so i mean this kit was absolutely amazing i highly recommend it i had a lot of fun with it i hope it helps you guys out and happy crafting